Hi guys, Tom here from Miniature War Room. Uh, just a quick video review on uh, an accessory that I've been using with my airbrushing. Um, this is a airbrush cleaner with a cleaning pot. Uh, the idea of this is you fill it up your airbrush up with cleaning solution, you put it in this holder, you point the spray bit in there, you press the button, all the cleaning fluid goes through the airbrush and cleans the needle. That's pretty much it guys. This is a fancy way of cleaning your airbrush and not making a mess. Alright, so uh, this is a generic kind, got it off eBay, I think I paid about, uh, I think it was about £4, uh, so about 6 or $7, something like that. Uh, it was brand new. Now, the first thing I'm going to say, guys, is Iwata do a copy of this, and I'm pretty sure there's other airbrush companies out there. Uh, don't be a mug. They, it's basically the it is the exact same product with a fancier filter. When I say fancier filter, it's still a paper uh, carbon filter, but it's still it's a bit thicker. And it says Iwata or uh, one of these other kind of big companies for airbrushing out there, and they'll charge you 30, 40 bucks or pounds, whatever. Right, guys, so I'll give you a quick breakdown of this. I've not actually cleaned it for the video because, let's face it, you know, kind of clean all our gear uh, all the time. Right, <clears throat> so let's open it up. Right. Pretty self explanatory. It's a glass pot, right, with a thread in the top of it. The bottom of it is concaved, alright. What this means is none of the paint will sit up here, it will all gather in at the sides, alright. The most important part is in here, alright. So we've got a rubber seal here, just like a big o ring, going right round here. And basically, what that does is it stops any of the spray coming out from the thread and out the sides, okay. This shield here, as you can see, see the spray pattern that's on there. When you're cleaning it, this is the point of impact. This basically stops it going everywhere. It hits there and it drips, creates a drip point. All right. The mesh fiber here, obviously the the air has to go somewhere, so it gets filtered through here and comes out the vent on the top. Right. Removable bits. This bit here can come out because not every airbrush is going to fit in it perfectly with the stand in there. So you can leave it like that and it can just sit in. It's quite tight. Rubber grommet there to stop any spray coming back out on you. Uh, bum, 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 bum. That bit there's stuck on, but that basically just stops it from tilting forward or backwards when you're using it. Uh, your o ring in there, I've explained it out every so often and clean it. As you can see here, my o ring is sitting out a wee bit, so that's going to create a, 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 a gap in my seal. So I'm going to push that back in and I'm going to reseal it properly. Right, guys. So that's that push back in. It was on here. A couple of twists. Boom. I'll end up spilling this all down there. That would actually be hilarious. Boom, boom, boom. Right. Done. In here, this can come out. There's your filter. So, yes. Probably could be replaced with a bit of industrial cloth. When I say industrial cloth, just a bit of thick cloth that your mammy's covered. Um, and that'll pretty much do it, guys. You can see in there, nothing fancy, just a hole. A wee bit of mesh cloth there. As a matter of fact, you could probably even wash that. Uh, I don't even bother my backside. You know, it's, it stops the bad stuff coming out, and that's all it needs to do. Take it out every so often and get a wee clean in there, brush cleaner, and then pop it back in once it's dry. That's pretty much it. So it goes in there, so it fits quite nicely. Make sure there's no gaps or anything like that. Alright. See so a wee filter cap, and pop that on the top there. So, I'm not getting my airbrush out of this box to demonstrate this, but basically, airbrush in there, and the camera falls. Airbrush in there, scoot, 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 stuff comes out, airbrush nice and clean. To finish cleaning the airbrush, if you're going to be keep keep painting it and you're just doing a wee quick uh, line clean, then just see the tip of the needle on the airbrush, just give it a wee clean with a bit of uh, airbrush thinner or basically any kind of thinner, just to get any kind of build up off the tip of the needle and that will stop a uh, dry tip. Alright guys, like, subscribe, comment, uh, if you guys have got something like this, um, leave a comment, tell me what you think. As a matter of fact, if you guys have got something that does the same job as this, but uh, is a totally different product, I haven't seen any other products, it seems to be the only one on the market I can find, um, leave a link at the bottom. Uh, I don't want any smart ass comments with 
uh, basically just a picture of a tub um, <laughs> and you go to someone saying yeah you can just spray into this so if you can find a product that's similar to this and you buy it from somewhere leave a link if you know if you clean your airbrush with something like this then do not leave a link where I can buy these because I know where to buy these alright guys Speak to you later. Subscribe, like, comment, ta-da.